Hi guys, and welcome back to our channel. Lana and Jenna here. We're excited to share with you guys about epilating. Um, so epilating is basically just another process to get rid of body hair. So it's basically another alternative instead of shaving. And I hate shaving. It's just a pain. I feel like you shave and then you have to shave two days later. Yeah. So this is a really great alternative. So if you guys are interested, I hope you guys watch and that this is helpful. Mm -hmm. um, so epilating is what the process is called. And this is called the Episilk. Um, so that's just the name of the product. It basically is a bunch of tweezer-like things that rip out your hair. Um, and really fast. So it just circulates and rips out hair. And it also has two levels. So it has a lower level and then a higher level. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature. But this is the one that we have. They're pretty cheap. They're like, ours was 30 bucks at yeah. Sally's. We did buy them a, a while ago, yeah. a couple years ago, five years ago. Um, so price range, they can go what, up to like 200 you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but ours was like only 30 but that was way back in the day. So and it's I don't still know. going strong. Yeah, so working. this is definitely a good alternative to shaving if you guys hate shaving like we do. So, um, yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Yeah, okay, so a little backstory. When I was a baby, <laughs> when I was like in fifth grade, I specifically remember being in fifth grade and begging my mom, like, please let me shave my legs. Like, my older sister was doing it. Like, I just thought it was so cool. Like, I wanted to grow up too fast. Like, we all did. And so I was like begging her nonstop. And she was like, no, you're crazy. No, you'll regret it. And like, eventually she was like, you know what? Just like, do it. If you want to regret it, go ahead. Um, just don't blame me. Like, I told you no, and you're gonna do it anyways. So I went and I shaved my legs, and like, I didn't know what I was doing, but I like, got the cream, and I got the <laughs> razor, and I like, loved it. I thought it was the most amazing thing ever. Like, I loved how silky my legs were. I went to school the next day, and I was like, showing everyone I shaved my legs, and no one was impressed. <laughs> everyone was like, okay, that's weird. And so, anyways, I don't know what my obsession was with getting rid of my leg hairs, but like, it started at a young age. Um, and then I shaved for a little while and it was like a hassle. I hated yeah. it. Like I was not the kind of person that would take time to shave my legs every day. And so like once they got prickly, like I was just like annoyed. Yeah. Once you do it, I feel like you have to upkeep it. Uh -huh. So it's and super annoying. Yeah. So my mom was right. I did regret that. Um, but she always used something and it was called an epilady and it was, I swear it was like the oldest machine ever. It was like a dinosaur <laughs> epilator. Yeah. She and showed me a picture. It was super scary. I will put a picture in. I was like terrified of it. It was like these coils and they you turn it on and they just twist really fast and they just rip out like all your leg hairs and it would looked terrible. It was it sounded terrible. Like I was terrified <laughs> yeah. of it. But I was like, I'm gonna try it because I was sick of shaving. Like I was not interested in doing that any longer. So I gave it a shot. It was painful. I hated it at the moment but then like from then on like it was the best thing ever and because that machine was so old like it died and then I went to Sally's and that's where I found the Episilk and there's so many varieties you can yeah. choose any machine you want but I'm in love with my Episilk it is my best friend <laughs> but it really I do love it and um, Jenna definitely uses it in her regular routine yeah so. mm -hmm. And actually, Lana even was like, well, what happens if we yeah. use it on our armpits? And I was like, I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> so ever since, like, for the last four years, I've only episilked my armpits. And I don't get armpit hairs. And it's wonderful. And I do it I do it once a month. And I'm done. I'm hairless for a while. So it's yeah. really nice. And I was first introduced to it. So Jenna, she incorporates it into her routine. And so she would... Every time she would episode, I'd be like, what the heck is that thing? Like, it's loud. It's like a chainsaw. Not really, but it, it definitely it is. is like, yeah. That's scary. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is going on? She, like, would rub this against her legs, and I just didn't understand it. Anyway, so she let me try it out, and it was painful. Like, I was not expecting that. It was just, like, a different pain, like, sensation pain. Yeah. I don't know what it, I don't know how to describe it. Anyways, um, but then I kept trying it and I really liked it. My body responded really well to it and um, so then I ended up going out and buying my own and now yeah. we both have one and we both use them. So and let me just tell you what, like I have not had one roommate that hasn't been intrigued by it and like, it's oh true. my gosh, let me try it. And some of them are like converted yeah. and some of them are like, nope, I can't handle the pain. Like not yeah. for me, you know, but they have very legs, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so now that you guys know a little bit more about it, we're going to go into the pros and the cons with it. So we definitely feel like the pros outweigh the cons. Um, 
So the great thing about this is when you use this, it's going to rip out your hairs instead of just scratching the surface of your legs and getting the hair. So it gets a hair follicle. Yeah. And <laughs> what? Okay, so the point is, um, oh no, why am I doing that the again? Point is <laughs> um, it gets the hair follicle. And so that's really great because then when your hair does start to grow back, it's going to take a lot longer and so you don't get hairy legs as fast. Yeah. Um, and another thing is, so the regrowth is slower and then when your hair does start to grow back, it's a lot like thinner, softer, lighter yeah. in color. It's just overall better when your hair does grow back. And then it's also sp like when your hairs do start to grow back, it's very sparse in different areas. So it's not like all at once that your hairs are yeah, regrowing. Yeah, for sure. When you shave your legs, like everything just, yeah. you know what I mean? But this is like, like, you know, that's how I would describe yeah. that. <laughs> that's how my hairs are. So that's um, another pro. And then, um, so another thing is razor burn. I don't get razor burn way bad, but I do. It, like other people are different. And so this is definitely a benefit. You don't get razor burn at all with this. And then also it's just really eco-friendly. You're not buying a ton of razors and then throwing them out. And then another great thing about this is you can multitask with this thing. You don't have to be in the shower or in the tub to use this. You That's can true. be watching TV, on your computer, babysitting, I don't know, doing whatever. <laughs> um, you, Cooking so, dinner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is great. So, um, but it's true. It's a really great tool and if you can handle it, it's worth it. Yeah, I agree. So the cons, like Lana said, the, or, the pros way outweigh the cons, but if you are thinking about trying it, these are some things you want to be aware of, like Definitely. these are some things that, you know, might affect you. Um, one of them is that, what is it? The pain. The oh, biggest, yeah. I feel like the biggest one is the pain, the pain. maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you it doesn't hurt when you first start because it, it does. It definitely. Okay, it I'm going to correct you, actually. It kills. <laughs> I really, it really does kill. Actually, I want to try this on my husband. Just I like, actually think it's worse than getting this. a wax, to be honest. Yeah, because a wax is just boom and it's gone. But, and this is a little slower and yeah. individual hairs. I don't know what. So the pain yeah. is bad. And I'm going to talk it up so hopefully it's not as bad when you do try it. I always like uh -huh. to talk things up. So That's that true. Works. So you're expecting yeah. it. Yeah. I want you to expect it to be really bad so that when you do try it, it's expect not as bad. Expect childbirth. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, okay, the pain is bad, but it does go away. I'm not kidding. It does. I don't feel a thing now. It gets like, better I don't as you keep feel doing it. it. You know? Um, okay, so the first thing, the first con is the pain. Okay, the second con would be that you don't get that, like, smooky, sil, smooky, <laughs> smooky, smooky, <laughs> smooky. Yeah. you don't get that silky, smooth, like, feeling that after you shave your legs, when you rub your legs together, it's just yeah. so nice. And the reason that is, is because you're not exfoliating your skin and really getting rid of, like, just all, everything is off your skin when you smooth when, when you, you, <laughs> you shake <laughs> whatever you do um so one thing i do commonly is as i will up a silk and then i will go in and shave especially if i'm going to use a self tanner where i need to be like super my throat is being weird where i need to be super exfoliated then i go ahead and i use a razor after but mostly for my skin not so much to get the hairs yeah, off you could probably but, use like a yeah. exfoliator uh -huh. like something but it does get just like the random ones that you miss because you and you don't stuff. do that very often i feel like mm -hmm. you only like if you have a special event or like yeah. you want yeah. silky smooth skin for some reason that's the only yeah. reason you do need to go do exactly. that exactly it's not like you have to uh-huh and so that would be like a, a very small con okay so and then the other con i would say is that after you do it you do get like little red marks like discoloration slight bumps yeah i don't even know huge. just from like pulling the hair out and it, just like anything even waxing yeah. does that i feel like uh -huh. so. and so it's just a little bit red and it only lasts about an hour so that's a good thing but like you can't like ever silk and then expect your legs to be like yeah perfect showcase worthy yeah. or something but so i always just do it before i go to bed and by the time i wake up the next morning my legs are great yeah okay so i guess like overall i would just say it's not for everyone um we did have one roommate who did it and she got ingrown hairs like where she did it and um i've never had that problem but you know everyone's skin is really different so the pain levels might yeah. be different for uh -huh. different people so. yeah for sure I don't know. It's definitely worth a try, though. I, I think it's worth it. It will so. change your life. Yeah. Really, though. Okay. Anyway, so now we're going to do a demonstration for you guys. My, I haven't been used... Oh. 
But now we're going to do a demonstration so you guys can kind of see how this works. I haven't been episode peeing recently, and so this is a good chance for you guys to see, like, I've been, because I've been shaving. And so this will be a good way to show you guys the difference between my legs and Jenna's legs and how it works. So, we'll just get right into that. This is the, the, this is the crazy machine. Um, it sounds like a chain saw, a chain saw. I'll show you guys. So this is level one. This is level two. Love I don't know if you can tell the difference, but anyways, it has two levels. Okay, so if you turn it on, I'll start with level one. I haven't done this in a long time, so this is gonna be interesting. Um, and you just go up. So the opposite way of the way your hair are. Woo! So it's grabbing my hairs. I can feel it. They're pulling out. I'm gonna show you guys. Do you guys see my darker hairs? It's kind of shorter, but, well, for me, that's short. <laughs> Can you guys see that? This is now smooth. Why have I not been doing this regularly? I forgot how amazing this is. So you just rub, like, gently. It's really, like, you can do it against your hand. It's not going to get your skin. I think I was really worried about getting my skin when I first did this, but it's not going to grab your skin. It really just surfaces over the top layer. So, it just picks them up. Should I show my hairs? So, you guys can kind of see in here, my hairs are collecting. Can you guys see that? so gross. Yeah, it is really gross, but it works. Like, it literally pulls them out, and then they literally take forever to come back. So, that's what we like about it, because then we don't have to shave as much. So, that is a tutorial on epilating, or epilating, and we're using the episode. So, I hope this was helpful. And thanks so much for watching. Sorry, I just like sat right on you. I just want to be extra close to you.